Now this is your typical Express LRS receiver. It comes both with an external or an internal antenna. And the way this works is pretty simple. You have your transmitter right here, it's connected to your radio, you move your sticks, and it sends information in the form of packets from your transmitter to your receiver. Your antenna receives it, and that sends a signal to your flight controller, making your drone move left, right, up, or down. It's pretty simple, and in the Express LRS world, it is very effective, guys. Really, really good link. With that said, there is the potential that these packets will not make it to your receiver, whether it be interference physically or electronically, and that can happen a lot. And that's why a lot of pilots, including myself, monitor link quality and RSSI DBM in the OSD while flying. And I'll refer to that statement over and over again throughout this whole explanation here. Now to reduce the number of lost packages going to the receiver, the developers and engineers have developed a different kind of receiver. And that's what I label as option two here. And this is what we call antenna diversity. Now this is a pretty cool system right here. Instead of having one antenna, we now have two antennas. And I label it antenna A and antenna B. And this works in a similar fashion. You have your transmitter right here connected to your radio. And as you move your sticks, it sends packets of information to your receiver in the drone. And because we now have two antennas, we have a radio in our receiver and it can decide hey, let's receive the packets from the stronger antenna, the one with the stronger signal. So in case it's antenna A, it will receive the information from antenna A or antenna B. The one with the stronger signal will receive that information and that gives you a lesser chance of missing that packets going to your radio. It's very, very smart. It does reduce fail safes. You have a better link quality and you can actually install these antennas, one in the front or one in the back of your drone and even different polarities to ensure that you're receiving the information. So whether you're going to or away from your radio, this thing here does a really good job. But in the same manner like the original receiver, you do have the potential to lose packets. Or in certain cases, the antenna switching may not switch fast enough or it might switch to the other antenna and then you might actually still lose signal and probably have a fail safe. The chance of that is a very, very low but it is possible in this scenario. So what do we do? That leads us to current day, the technology that we have as of today. And that is a true diversity receiver. Now that's a little bit different than this one. In this case, this receiver can choose between antenna A or antenna B. But with true diversity, this receiver can receive both from antenna A and antenna B simultaneously. In fact, we have two radios on this one receiver. So it works in the same manner. This little transmitter here sends the packets of information to our receiver and our drones, and both antenna receives the information. Really, really cool. Okay, so now we have our Gemini system right here, and it takes it a step further than true diversity in your receiver. Now, to make this optimum, you do wanna have a true diversity receiver. Now the beauty of Gemini is that instead of using one antenna to transmit, it's using two or both of the antennas. As I move my stick commands, this module here sends the information in packet form from both antennas. So in sense, we know that since Express LRS 3.0, we can send packets up to around 8,000 Hertz. In this case, what Project Gemini does, you can say, okay, well, instead of sending a thousand packets and only say 30% of the packets receiving to my receiver, let's send 500 packets twice to my receiver. And how it does this by using these two antennas right here. So as you move the stick, this module here sends the packets to, from both antennas simultaneously. So let's just say at 500 Hertz, but let's now say that you're in an environment that's unfavorable with high interference. Well, that is possible. You can't control the environment. So let's just say you're flying in an environment where there's a lot, of inf a lot of interference. And let's just say this signal here is interfered with, is blocked due to say Wi-Fi antennas in the area, in the city, or maybe you're flying at a race where there's multiple drones flying at the same time. And if that happens, these packets are not gonna make it to this antenna or this receiver. But that's okay because Gemini will send the same information on the other antenna simultaneously at the same packet rate but on a different channel or different frequency, usually a difference of 40 megahertz, which is good because if this was interfered with because of that frequency, there's a different channel over here, and most likely this 
packet is gonna make it to the second antenna on your drone. So it's almost like having diversity or true diversity in your receiver and having true diversity in your TX module. Now, as I said before, typically with Express LRS 3.0, you can send up to a thousand hertz or a thousand packets per second. Well, with Project Gemini, you can cut that in half and send 500 here and 500 here simultaneously. That means a thousand total. And if you want even more packets, you can cut that in half instead of sending it at 500 hertz, you can send it at 250 and quadruple your package rate. Instead of sending two packets at the same time, you can send four packets at the same time. So as you lower your packet rate, you do increase the potential of all your packets being received to your receiver and your drone. And based upon the testing by developers and engineers, typically when you fly your drone with your typical receiver and module, you get somewhere around 76 to around 89, maybe 91, 92 on the link quality. But using Project Gemini, it's usually around 99 to 100. It doesn't drop below 99 on the link quality. So that's really amazing. I don't wanna try this out to see if that actually works, guys.